Hey everybody, welcome back to Dirt Tracks. This is Segway's Fugelman UT10X. This is their 1000cc side-by-side -side that's designed to be what I will call sport rec. It's not full sport, it's not full utility, it's I guess sport utility. It's halfway in between and it does both very well. Now the Fugelman is available in two models, the UT10X and the UT10E. The E being the more basic model, that means you don't get the beadlock rims, you don't get the winch, and in Canada you don't get the front windshield or the plastic side doors, you get nets instead. So not a massive amount of difference there, but you do get some upgrades. There's also on the X the 10 inch center stack screen, which I'll show you a little later on. That's a pretty big upgrade. Um, the Fugelman is a, the, the word is funny. Nobody really understands what Fugelman means, and at first I thought it was maybe some kind of a Chinese word that I just didn't understand. It's not. It's a German word, and it's from the German military, meaning someone who demonstrates or show the others how it's done. Segway's kind of saying a lot to the competition with just the name in and of itself, and after spending the whole afternoon on this vehicle, I'm actually very impressed with it. I'll give you a bit of a walk around. We'll show you some of the features, some of the benefits, some of the things that it does that others don't. Um, and then I'll also talk to you because I did put on a full afternoon of riding about the things that I think maybe they could upgrade on or, or improve on, let's say. Uh, but right away, you're gonna see that it's got a 4,500 pound winch up front. It's got this nice little kind of mini stinger style bumper and it does have a little bit of a skid plate on it. It's all aluminum. It's very nice and uh, looks good, but most importantly, it works good. Now it's not a wireless winch. On the inside, you do have your uh, winch control uh, underneath the uh, the dash so you can hook in your, your remote for it, uh, but it isn't wireless and that's actually okay because the wireless winch remotes usually end up going missing um, or they're out of batteries when you need them. So a plug-in is not a, not a big deal to me. You'll notice it's got this sporty hood scoop on it. Um, not massively functional, but still very cool looking and it gives it kind of that aggressive look. If you're in Canada, you're gonna get the front windshield on the X package. The rear windshield, that's just an upgrade that they put on for us. I will say right away, uh, it's not terribly cold today, and having the front windshield on with the rear panel, um, it gets pretty warm inside the cab. So winter time, I think you're actually going to be quite comfortable. During the summer, this front windshield you're going to need to take off, and it is just four Velcro straps to hold it on there. So it comes off quite nice. It's thick Lexan. It does say Segway Power Sports Canada because this is a Canadian version. Um, I imagine in the U.S. it probably says the U.S. But in the U.S. you can buy this as an aftermarket accessory. It has the mirrors on it, but those are an upgrade from factory. Um, like I said, the bead locks come on the X package and they're a really good looking bead lock. It's a 27 inch tire. It's not a square setup. It's a nine and 11, but they're a pretty good tire. Um, it is a Wanda. So this you'll notice almost right away. Um, looks a whole lot like a Bighorn 2.0. Suspension. There's about 10.6 inches up front and in the back, there's just over 11. The suspension on this vehicle, I actually really enjoy. It works very well for, I would say, mid-level riding. Once you get really sporty, I do believe that the X package should come with a piggyback or a reservoir shock. Um, the shocks on the Villain are probably too big, but they could come with something in between that and it would make it a lot better because I did pound on this today and I noticed right away that I was using all available valving. I was going right through all of it and hitting off the springs. I didn't want to increase the spring preload because then the thing just becomes more bouncy. So it was that it needed more damping. So I definitely uh, believe an upgrade in damping would make the X package really, really good and compete with those other comp uh, competitor models like the R-Max and like the General that do have piggyback shocks on them. So that's one small area, but it rides really well. And as long as you're not going out and blasting the trail at 50 miles an hour, it's actually, it's, it's really good. I would put it on par with uh, probably the Kawasaki Terex. It rides very similar. In fact, I actually think it's definitely better than the Terex, but that in that category is how it feels. Now come around the side and let me show you inside because this is a pretty cool interior on this vehicle. Segway's done some really cool stuff on this. Um, not the least of which is obviously the, the screen that you see in the dash, but the rest of the interior is really high quality. I mean, ignore the screen because the E doesn't come with the screen. The rest of the interior is really, really nice. Like it feels high quality. There's big headrests so that your head doesn't bounce off the back steel of the, the roll bar. Um, the seats have a nice grip texture on the driver and passenger, both the, the, you know, the lower portion and then the, the back seat as well. Um, so you kind of stay in position. You don't slide around too much. And remember, this is sport rec or sport utility. So it's a three person bench across here. So there's enough room for three. Now, if you don't have three people, you can open up the center armrest and it's, it's a bit of a different armrest. Um, it pops right out so you can take it with you if you want, 
But uh, in this position, in this form right here, I don't necessarily think it's massively, massively functional uh, for more than like tucking your jacket in or maybe a couple bottles of water or whatever. But like I said before, you can take this right out with you should you want to, um, you know, and carry it into the hotel or carry it into your house. Um, it's, yeah, you know what? It, it's better than not having any storage in the middle. Storage wise, underneath, there is just a plethora of areas to put stuff. I mean, you can tuck bottles of water, you can tuck, uh, you know, work gloves, you can tuck some, uh, you know, tie straps or chain or whatever. Like you can, you can put all kinds of stuff in here. Lots and lots of space. And then there's a good size glove box as well. Um, you know, like all ATVs and so, or like all side-by-sides have. The big kind of um, feature of the inside on the X package obviously is the 10 inch center stack. I mean, it's huge. It's really nice looking. I'll give you a bit of a display here so you can see. But don't forget that the, the one right in front of the driver with all of your pertinent information is actually really, really impressive as well and looks really nice. But the center stack is pretty cool. It connects to your phone through the Segway Power Sports app and it'll do all kinds of stuff like the power steering on the X package is uh, three position or three mode. You can adjust those three modes through the app. And then within each one of those three modes, you can then tailor your preferred setting of how much power steering output from your input is felt. That's pretty cool. It also gives you all kinds of cool stuff like uh, driver vehicle stats, so we can see power, speed, acceleration, torque. It gives you everything on here uh, live as it's happening. Right now it won't show you because I haven't driven for the past few minutes. And then obviously it, it tells you this is called live situation. Um, you know, it gives you your inclinometer and all that stuff. So it tells you whether you're off camber, which you should probably know if you're driving this vehicle. Uh, something that's a little bit, I will say, offshore, but I actually really appreciate the integration on this vehicle, is over on this side, I have a full automotive style little column. Um, it gives me my horn, gives me turn signals, and it gives me uh, my headlight adjust. And it's, it, it's just like in a car. It's probably the best integration of this that I've ever seen on a side-by-side. -side. It looks like it's supposed to be there, because it is. Uh, it's clean, it's tidy. And let's be honest, on a side-by-side -side like this, I don't think having a horn and turn signals is a bad idea at all. I think it's a great idea because a lot of times when we're driving down the trail and we're you know, turning off to a different trail, we forget to put our arms out or people just aren't looking for it. But when you have the turn signals on the vehicle, it makes a whole lot of sense and I really like it. So I would actually like to see North American manufacturers come out with turn signals like this on their vehicles from factory because it makes a whole lot of spent, a sense, especially on sport rec or sport utility vehicles because truthfully, we're all using these things on the weekend for stuff other than just work. Um, it's got four wheel drive, it has a uh, rear diff lock, um, so you can, or sorry, it has four wheel drive and then it has a front diff lock on it. You can fully lock this thing up should you want to. Uh, the button over here is very similar to what you used to find and maybe still do on the Yamahas. Um, works great, goes into diff lock. Here's something I'll say about the diff lock on this. The turn radius of the Fugelman is probably the best in the industry when it comes to sport rec. This thing turns on a dime. Like it is so incredibly tight that you can feel the front and rear wheels crabbing against each other because the front is trying to pull the rear around. And it's, it's wild how tight of a turn radius it'll, it'll do. That being said, when you put this in full four wheel drive diff lock, you could probably wreck some stuff if you get yourself in a really hairy, really tight situation and you all of a sudden grab some, some serious traction with the front end with the wheels fully turned. So, just be aware of that, you gotta be careful. Um, however, I, I, I massively appreciate the turn radius on this vehicle because when you are doing work, and even just like today when I'm turning around in the forest and there's trees everywhere and I gotta you know, move and, and get around, it's really nice to be able to turn a tight circle and not have to put the thing in reverse. Speaking of reverse, one thing you're probably gonna drive you nuts on this vehicle is the backup beeper. It is loud, it sounds like it's off of like a transport truck, um, and, and it's very, very, very apparent. It will also beep at you if you leave the key on, if you don't have your seatbelt on, and if you don't put the park brake on when you step out of the vehicle. Even if you put it into park but you don't put the park brake on, it will beep at you. That's one thing I could probably do without, but I understand it's a safety thing. I get it. Um, to me, it's just something that uh, I could probably do with a little bit less of. Now, center stack screen, the other thing I wanted to talk to you about, it does have mapping. The mapping's not working for us right now, but I was told the mapping will work and that's an, an update that'll come. So now the uh, center stack screen, you've got uh, two USB inputs right here that'll charge your phone. Um, that I believe probably just comes on the X package and isn't on the E. Uh, down below you have a 12 volt uh, plug if you need it. Um, but 
The center stack screen will do your phone calls. It'll connect to it. Now, it'll also do your audio, but here's the thing. It doesn't come with built-in speakers. So it has an FM tuner in it. It has your local music, um, and then it's got your Bluetooth. So to make this work, you can use something like the Cardo system uh, headset communicators, and this will work directly with those. You can get your phone calls, you can talk to people, and you can also listen to music. Uh, Segway does have a cool behind the headrest speaker kit that's going to be coming very soon. It's, in, uh, it's, it's being built, uh, but it's not available right of yet. So just check their website and their accessories and that'll be very soon. But the stereo is built in. So a Cardo system will work with that or other headsets. Pretty neat, uh, comes completely integrated. Now, um, drive modes, it has uh, Eco and Sport. I didn't notice a huge difference between those two. Um, but it, it, it may limit things in there. I, I played with it and had fun um, and just left it in sport the whole time because I enjoyed it there. Tilt column works really good. And then your center stack screen in the middle here gives you a whole lot of information um, and, and is very, very, very bright. Probably the brightest in the industry and um, I would say definitely the most informative. I mean, you've got all the different images. They're all very, very cool and futuristic. I mean, let's be honest, Segway is the Tesla of off-road right now. It even has something cool that I've noticed hasn't changed too much, but it's given me a distance till empty meter, which maybe I'm wrong and you guys can comment down below if I am, but I don't believe there's any other side-by-side -side yet that has had a distance till empty meter, which makes a lot of sense to me. And I know that that's going to depend on how fast you're driving and whether you're in the throttle a lot uh, and what you're doing. Nonetheless, I still like it. I use it on my truck all the time. Why wouldn't you have it on a side-by-side -side with this much technology? So <clears throat> one thing that uh, inside the cab I noticed right away that I talked to you about before is a lot of heat on the driver's side. I'm gonna show you why that is if you leave the front windshield on. Now without this uh, rear windshield on, you may uh, notice less of that. However, um, I took the windshield off today just for comfort's sake because my back was getting pretty warm. I'm gonna show you why. Obviously it's got a tilting box. The exhaust is right in behind where the driver's seat is. Now there is quite a space in between the driver's seat and this back panel. Nonetheless, there's quite a bit of air uh, or quite a bit of heat coming off of this exhaust back here. It's got shielding, it's got all the right stuff, everything's good, and then it even has a huge blower coming off of um, what I'm guessing must be the CVT uh, that's blowing onto the exhaust to keep it nice and, nice and cool. But you will notice during the summer that the back of the seat does get a little warm. So just something to be aware of. Now. Over on this side, uh, and over on that side as well, you'll notice there's these panels that pop off. This one has the gas tank. The other one, I'm guessing in the future, is probably potentially going to be used for the plug-in because they are going to be making electric vehicles um, side-by-sides. They have plans for that hybrid and all that stuff. So I'm guessing maybe there's gonna be a plug-in on that side in the future. So that's kind of cool. Um, fit and finish on this are very, very high. I'm very impressed with the way everything is finished off. Inside the box, you got nice big uh, D-rings for tying down. You got good grab handles on the top. You got a step right here for getting in. Um, and it's even got this plastic guard on it so you don't wear the paint off right away. Little things like that are something that takes some time to think about and it's an extra piece and an extra part. They're doing this and I like that because a lot of companies don't put stuff like that on, and when you're spending this kind of money, it's it's just nice to have that. You don't you don't want to scratch the paint up on your rear bumper right away. Uh, tailgate is rated for 200 pounds max. That's pretty respectable. I mean, a lot of them aren't rated for that much, but you can jump up and well, I'm right around 200 pounds, and it doesn't seem like it's working too hard. So everything's good there. LED tail lights. Uh, I mean, the oh, it comes with the two inch hitch receiver and the receiver in there, not just the actual receiver on the vehicle it comes with the actual hitch as well and then it has a um, uh, like an isolating nut on the top that you or bolt that you put in to lock that hitch in so that it doesn't rattle and shake I really appreciate that because the last thing you want to hear is your trailer hitch bouncing around on the back of your side by side while you're out on the trail um, suspension out back much like the front exactly the same thing uh, it needs a little bit more damping on this vehicle uh, for high speed really aggressive super sporty riding Anything below that is totally fine, but I do believe as an X package, they probably should put a piggyback shock on there just to bump that up and just to bring it up to the level of the rest of the competition. All in all, I gotta tell you that I'm really impressed with Segway's product. <clears throat> Fugelman is very high quality, very high quality feeling. 
the touch, the fit, the finish, the drivability, the steering wheel, the fact that you can adjust a lot of cool settings on the vehicle, the fact that you can turn your phone into your key and it will unlock your vehicle, or it'll let you know in the middle of the night if all of a sudden randomly the vehicle's moved, maybe somebody tried to steal it, it'll text your phone and say, hey, just so you know, your side-by-side -side is moving right now. That's kind of cool because, I don't know, it's like a, it's, it's, it's pretty much like an automotive security feature right on your side-by-side. -side. First time for a lot of things, that's what Segway's doing. They're doing it all throughout the market right now. They're bringing a whole lot of cool technology. You may say, you know what? I don't want all that cool technology. I don't want that big screen in the dash. I'm never gonna use it. I don't want my phone with me when I go out. A lot of you guys do say that to us. Less technology, we don't want all that stuff. That's totally fine. You don't have to have it. Buy the E, the UT10X, or sorry, the UT10E, and you don't have to have that center screen. Now you do still get the screen in the middle of the steering wheel. Can't get away from that. And it does still work with your phone and the Segway app. You can't get away from that either. It's just built in, it's free, it's part of it but you don't have to bring your phone along if you don't want to. For those of you who do, it's got some pretty cool stuff in it. Very feature packed, very full of features. Make sure you go check out Segway Canada and Segway US's website. Have a look at the Fugelman, the Villain, the Snarler, all the stuff that they've got right now. They're bringing a whole bunch more and in the near future, we hope to show you some really cool vehicles because Segway's got hybrids that are not far off and we're super excited to test those. So if you liked the video on the Fugelman, hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel for more great off-road content. Now before I go, I'm going to do what everybody always asks for. I'm going to start it up, let you hear the motor, and then I'm also going to put it in reverse so you can hear the backup beeper. <laughs>